a quantity x varies with temperature data as shown so you got x and from x you read you get a data so this is what we call a calibration curve data is determined from x from a linear graph x is measured with a percentage uncertainty of one percent so whatever these values are maybe it's a a, a range of values i use this thick highlighter to represent the possible values you can have and from the uncertainty, I can say, all right, uh, I got a spread of values now. It could be anywhere within this thick line right there. So that means although I could read an exact value, such as my dotted line, I could be a little bit higher, I could be a little bit lower. That's my uncertainty. And also because of that, my data also has some uncertainty represented by the thick spread of line. So which statement is true about this uncertainty? 1% at all temperatures that's a pretty important clue one percent at all temperatures what does that mean let's go and look at the choices we have down here first first choice percentage honesty in theta is least near zero degrees hmm so they're comparing percentage uncertainty with the actual uncertainty where is largest where is least so the first statement is already telling us something this one percent is what we call percentage uncertainty that means my percentage uncertainty is the same. Cannot be least near zero, cannot be least near 100, no. Same everywhere. So your percentage, 1%, uh, this is a percentage uncertainty of 1%, is same everywhere in the graph. Percentage, ma. Okay, so A and B is out. No. What, will be, what about the actual uncertainty? When we say actual uncertainty, what we really mean is the absolute uncertainty so in our case you want to find absolute uncertainty all right so when we usually do calculation we'll take the uncertainty let's call this absolute uncertainty over the value okay this is a fractional uncertainty right? and usually we times 100 and we get the percentage uncertainty so let's just say percentage uncertainty is x is propagated towards percentage uncertainty in theta. So if you think about this, uh, where is the actual, actual uncertainty the largest? If this is a 1%, okay, so 1% means, I can simplify this a bit. This percentage is 1%, so this is a 1 over 100. That's pretty much fixed everywhere. So then, my actual uncertainty will be 1 over 100 times theta. Okay, also theta over 100. So where will the delta theta uncertainty be the largest? If you look at this equation, the larger your angle, or rather the larger your theta, not angle, sorry, temperature, the larger your temperature, the larger the uncertainty. So that can be said as like, oh, this one, larger, huh? uncertainty also become larger. So then I will say the actual uncertainty is the least near zero, because near 100, this one, your actual uncertainty, absolute uncertainty is large, very, very large because you are multiplying by percent, large percentage. Okay, so that's how you can check this value. Make sure you know the difference between absolute uncertainty, percentage uncertainty, and fractional uncertainty. Go check out the videos if you haven't watched those for the theory. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.